so yeah, it's been a while. Um, last time I recorded uh, Unleashed was like a couple months ago. So yeah, it's been, it's been quite a while since we've uh, done this. Uh, maybe not like for you because like, because um, the time the time of um, recording this, I already have the current parts uploading or like uploaded and scheduled. Um, so hopefully this won't have like a massive like gap between those. Um, but hopefully the it's a it pans out well because what, I, what I've planned to do is just have this and Kingdom Hearts 3 kind of, um, what is it, what should we call it, I, I've, I've, I've made it so those two kind of just switch over, so one one week you'll get Kingdom, uh, Kingdom Hearts and the other week um, you'll get uh, Unleashed, um, so yeah they, they're both, they're both, they're both going to be really long projects. Um, and I'm already doing Clone Wars with Scrappy, so there, was, there wasn't really any way I could have done this besides placing one, um, of these, what, one of these LPs after the other, and I didn't want to really do that because <laughs> I kind of just wanted to get both of these, um, LPs done at once, um, because they're both the ones I wanted to do for a while. And... Alright, so welcome to the HD version. Now, I'm gonna say- I need to say this right off the bat, because I was a complete derp and was a complete autopilot for that- for the Wii version, uh, section. Um, I was talking over the cutscene, <laughs> and I, like, forgot- um, like, I forgot the fact that I wasn't actually showing the Wii version's cutscenes, so none of, none of that um, commentary is going to be saved. Um, but basically what I was talking about is that um, one thing that's interesting about these two two versions, it's a, it's a minor difference, but it's still there, is that um, you actually get the world map quite a bit earlier than in this version. Um, in the Wii version, as soon as you leave Apatos, you get to access the world map, uh, you go to Spagonia, and you can access various, like, extras and whatnot. Um, and, um, yeah, that's all cool, fine and dandy. Whereas in this version, you don't actually get a hub world until you save... Uh, well, spoilers, I guess, but you don't actually get a hub world until you save the Professor. Um, I believe, anyway. That's what I remember. Um, which is... Uh, a little bit interesting, um, it's not, again, it's not a massive difference, all it really does is let you get to, uh, get to do Apatos, like, side content earlier in the Wii version, but besides that, you pretty much have nowhere else to go but Spagonia right now, so it's not really that big of a difference, um, but yeah, this is a, this fun little hub world, um, it's, I, li I like how it's like, you can just, go around like this bustling city without it bit feeling too big uh, too big and spacious with nothing in it a la 06 um, and there's a good amount of people to talk to and just it keeps the trend going I guess with Unleashed Hub Worlds specifically the village hubs where um, there's not too little there's not too little in them and there's not too much in them you generally get the gist when you go into these hub worlds. Um, you have like your sun and moon medals to find, you have characters to talk to, and you rarely ever have to actually talk to the humans, um, but they do give you some uh, interesting um, commentary and whatnot, and they do give you some like missions every now and then. And yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't uh, mind these slower parts. It's nice to um, slow down here and just kind of explore around these areas. Because um, I know a lot of people, a lot of people seem to enjoy this game more when it's just level by level. You just select the day stages, um, and you, that's it. 
you just go around your business like that. Which I can understand, and replaying this game, I do enjoy just going by the simple stage select method. Um, like, if I want to have some good fun in, like, Rooftop Run, it's... I do, I do enjoy just booting the game up and um, uh, running yeah. through that. At the same time, I honestly prefer I honestly prefer this game as a like as playing as a package. So going through the hub worlds, playing all the stages, um, doing all the exploration stuff and whatnot because um, I just find it more gratifying in the long run. Um, and Where's the professor? Yeah. And again, with the whole just look at the game in in general, like... Oh man, I, I just can't get enough about, like, just this game visually, like... I know it's not... I know, like, inside the stores you can't see, like, crazy de detail, but... The fact that you can vaguely see what's in, what's in a lot of these uh, doors and windows and whatnot is really nice. Um, makes it feel like an actual place people could live in. Like, you see, look, food stores, um, all this good stuff, like... They didn't need to... They they, they could just make make that, all that stuff, like, um, you can't see it. You can't see any of it, and it's just, like, blurred out or whatever. But... Like, there's a flower shop, for instance, like... There's just a bunch of, like, random detail here in these hubs that just don't really add much of anything in terms of gameplay, but it makes it feel more like an actual breathing world, and... Yeah, that's something I really like about Unleashed. Like, they do- they add in details that really don't have to be here, but because they do, it makes it feel a lot more like a breathing world, and... That's something I really do appreciate. to all the people. Um, I don't think we can actually get all of the... Yeah, there's areas blocked off, so we can't actually get all the medals right now, but we can get two at least. Um, oh, three. Um, I'm, a, I'm pretty sure the fourth one is, like, past that uh, fence. Um, or not fence, but this barrier. Um... Yeah, it's all good stuff. I like how every, every like Sonic basically just stands in place, like he's frozen. Like when you pause or go to a level tra like a transition. What? Um, everything else, everything, like, moves, like, normal still. Um, <laughs> and Sonic just kind of freezes in place. Yeah, meme line. Professor Pickle off, lab data and all. It can't be. That sure sounds like Eggman. What a horrible thing to do. We've got to go help that professor guy out, and fast. If he got kidnapped that long ago, he's got to be real hungry by now. And, and if I was that hungry, uh, I don't know how long I would last. I'd rather be dead. <laughs> I, I'm sure Eggman is feeding him. Even he's not that cruel. Okay. <laughs> Let's go and find the professor. Yeah. And uh, something that's a little bit different, like this is one of the only times I can think of where you're forced to talk to people to move on. Um, you just, you just have to like talk to random people who will say like, oh the professor's go gone to Missouri or something. Yeah. So you, you pretty much just have to talk to like one random person who says, oh, something about the professor and then that's it. 
So, she heard about weird experiments, but that's not what we're looking for. Yeah, there we go. Yep, that's all you needed. Um, so... Uh, there are, I know there are people that, like... <laughs> you kids, apparently. Um, I know there are people that, um, go on about how intrusive these hubs can be, and when that's, like, the worst offender, I... I really... I just can't agree. I'm sorry. <laughs> Like, I, I, I just kind of find that really silly when you can just skip through the text and otherwise you, like, like, every other time you don't really need to talk to anyone at all. You just, you can just jump dash through the hub um, and go to where you need to go in like five seconds. So I, I, I don't, I don't really get it. So I guess if you really don't want to go talking to people about uh, where the professor is or whatever, the Wii version does just send you right to the hub after the cutscene, um, and you can go right to Missouri. Um, so I guess there's that. At the same time though, um, in terms of uh, people complaining about having to forcefully talk in hub to get to a destination, that's more true in this version, because, you know, back in Abitus I had to talk to that one dude to get to the state, like the Gaia Gate area. And it's Begonia I had to talk to the um, the assistant to get to the uh, professor the Professor Pickles lab, um, and that's a constant throughout the throughout the whole game here. Like you have to do a lot of talking just to get to specific like stage areas and whatnot. Um, thankfully, it's easy it's easy enough to just like uh, go through the text in like two seconds, but. Yeah, I, I don't understand why people complain about it in the HD version when you never you like have to do it like once or twice. Whereas in this version it's a constant problem. Or I see I say problem in quotes, but yeah, I, I I still find that really weird. But yeah, just looking at some of this stuff, um you get you just go through um your unlockables um, through the through this menu here, and you get to see some nice artwork and other various various uh, things, and it, it's it's pretty nice. You get some get some cool little um, bonus material. Obviously, obviously, I'm not gonna see go through all of these, but yeah. So it, it, one thing that is, I'm kind of annoyed with in this game is that it tells you, like, vaguely, like, what continent it is and what if it's a day or night stage or what have you, but it doesn't always tell you which stage um, or which special mission it's talking about. It, it just says day stage special mission, and when you're trying to get, like, the last few, or trying to get very specific ones, that can get pretty frustrating because you don't know what you're looking for. And there's, as you can see, like there's a ton of these things. So, yes, uh, it's a bit annoying. He's in the right jump, and then yeah, these are the secret documents that tell you about some stuff. Um. That's kind of cool, I guess. Don't remember what these say, like... Yeah, I just... Okay, well, is that gonna actually tell me how, how that works, or is it... Just ...saying it happens? Okay, so basically just keep talking to people and then something might maybe happen, good. Okay. And, um, I think, yeah, this just tells you, um, yeah, this just tells you, like, general stats for, um, stages and whatnot. Oh, one thing I'm, I should mention, I actually went back to Act 2, um, of Abitus, Abitus Night, or Windmill Isle Night, um, just get, just to get an S rank, because I was 
feeling bad about that and I wanted to get um, the extra sun medal. But yeah, besides that though, um, yeah, didn't, you didn't really miss anything. Um, I barely, I just barely missed the next requirement for the uh, level up, so yeah. We're gonna get the next level a little bit earlier than usual. So this is also a weird difference between the versions. Um, as you'll find out here in the in this hub, it's a ghost town. Uh, I don't really know why they decided to do this, but basically you just talk, you talk, you you go to all these areas. Chip will say, "Oh, there's no one here," and then after all that, you'll just find this mysterious hole. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, funny joke. Um, and then you'll just go to the cutscene where you see, find the professor and you don't even have like a stage or anything which is completely different from like the HD version because you go here there's actual there's an actual population for starters and then you go to like the regular stage area and do a night stage um, Missouri for whatever reason is it just doesn't have stages besides the boss in the Wii version um, so because of that, we're not really going to spend that much time here, which is kind of a bummer because, as you'll find out, the day stage in the HD one is actually one of my favourite stages in the game, so to have a equivalent just completely cut from this version is kind of a shame. But yeah, this, is, this mysterious hole is just going to send us right to the cutscene, so um, yeah, I'll see you, I'll see you guys in... Missouri night for HD. Okay, so yeah, like I said, there's an actual population now. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's salesman. So yeah, it's kind of a weird difference. I don't know why they did that for the Wii version, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, let's just go for this village, find our medals. The good old elephants in the background. And you see those weird spirits above this guy's head. Well, at least he tells me what to do. Yeah, so, um, as you'll see throughout the game, like, just a bunch of people are just, I guess, being possessed by, like, weird spirit creatures, um, and causing them to just generally not be themselves. It's kind of interesting. Um, yeah. A building a pit can't run shop. <laughs> Must have bought like all plans. Can I ask a uh, Sonic team? Are you just forever scared. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now there's. One more sun medal somewhere. I can't do like the dash thing in the air, so. Do you say anything else? Okay. Um. Yeah, I always have issues like finding the medals. Uh, here for some reason. Is it like? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. That's all we needed. Now, unlike the Wii version, we actually have a stage to do. <laughs> oh boy. I, I, it's probably to do with the fact that. Um, actually, no. I I don't even. I I don't really know what it is. It's probably a mix of uh, like a lot of things. My guess is that they just didn't have time to create stages for Missouri in time. 
um, and especially considering how um, they have what is it on av well not average but for most of the of the worlds there's um three night stages um they probably just didn't have enough time to create all those as well as think up a bunch of like missions for the day stage or whatever and just decided like screw it let's just not bother um and that's so true for another stage as well that you don't even see a boss or anything for an Wii version. Like, it doesn't even exist in the game. Um, that being Emp Empire City. Um, do I have the other? Okay, I don't have either of the dash moves. Um, it's really interesting. Um, I feel like, I, again, I feel like, the, I feel like they just didn't have enough time to implement them and decided that, okay, how can we launch this game in the holiday, like this version on in the holidays, without sacrificing too much, and it's like, okay, so we can like we have to have Missouri because it's, it has a like a a guy temple in it, so let's just have the boss and the cutscenes and whatnot. That can work fine. It's gonna it's gonna feel a little bit weird, but sure we can work we can work with that. Empire City um, has like no story significance whatsoever besides just being stages you can play. Um, like there's no cutscenes there for whatever reason. Um, there's no like bosses um, or anything like that. It's literally just extra stages to play for game time. Um, so you don't really miss anything in terms of like plot progression or any significance in that department. For it to really be, to, for it to really change the game um, in any significant way, so I can I, I can understand that if it, if it is the case that they just didn't have enough time to make these few like extra stages, um, it does kind of suck though because again the Missouri Day is one of my favorite uh, day stages, and both Empire City Day and Night are some of my favorite stages as, as well. So it, it, it does kind of suck that Empire City is just gone without a trace, but eh, eh, I, whatever. So Sega are known for rushing out games, and as much as I do love this game, this is no exception. Like they, um, this this is definitely more polished than a lot of previous Sonic games. Um, and there's definitely like high bu higher budget than most Sonic games nowadays, if not all of them. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, there's there, there's definitely a lot more love, a lot of love put into this one. But at the same time, though, you can tell that they were still um, crunched for time. With like, there's still like a bunch of frame rate issues that they just. I can't reach that. Um, that they just couldn't fix in time, and it was <laughs> way worse. Uh, like obviously, it was like even worse. Um, once upon a time. So, I mean, the fact that they got it got it working to where it is now is commendable, but it still had a long ways to go. And I feel like with a few extra months to maybe not a year, but maybe like half a year, it could be um, a lot smoother. Um, because yeah, the, there's um, quite a lot of lag spikes. Well, not a lot, but there, there are some lag spikes every now and then, and yeah, again, given more time, I feel like they wouldn't exist, or wouldn't be as prevalent, let's say. But that's not how Sega works, as we all, all know by now. Um, they keep saying that they're gonna work on quality over quantity, and how like uh, we're gonna s slow down for the next game, um, so the ge so it can have time to more time to cook in cook in the oven, so to speak. Um, and they've said this song and dance once before, um, so we'll see if they stay by their word um, and actually give us a quality product that actually look like actually feels and looks like there was time, money, and effort put into it. Um, this, like, same way 
like this game was. Well, not necessarily the same way, but in in the sense, um, more so in the sense that the you could feel that they wanted to make the game itself, and there was actual like there was a clear big budget put into it because I'm kind of tired of uh, Sonic getting the short end of the stick with Sega franchises um, having like lower budgets um, and it's becoming just more and more prevalent and obvious because I want to see something like Team Sonic Racing um, I I really enjoyed the game like they put a lot of effort into the game for the with the budget they had but when you look at how m little stages there are the limited character selection, um, and just when you go through the story mode, how like how many times you have to go through the same uh, courses over and over again, um, it's very clear that they had to work with a very strict budget, um, and I'm just kind of getting tired of that. Like I, I know Sega isn't the isn't the same like, company they used to be, like in the sense that they aren't like the big, the big, like, blockbuster, not blockbuster, but, like, they're not the big, uh, guns they used to be with, like, all these, uh, franchises and, uh, all this budget and whatnot. I know they can't do that as much now, but at the same time, I feel like they could <laughs> invest a bit more into this franchise, um, with the fact that, um, like, Persona, Yakuza, and whatnot are seem to be doing like really well for them lately and it's kind of a shame that Sonic itself um, is just kind of going like falling behind even then when it should be the other way around because um, like there have been what is it sales reports recently um, and in terms of like this is not like putting into account movie Sonic like the Sonic movie sales or anything like that this is to do with the games only and from what I remember hearing, it was like, what is it? Um, only 80, like 850,000 units sold or something. Whereas Yakuza and Persona both had like up to like millions or something like that. And the fact that like Sonic isn't even like top three or top four, I, I don't remember where it's placed now. Uh, but the fact that it's not like top dog anymore, like not even top two, is just heartbreaking <laughs> like as a as a fan that's followed this series for as long as I can remember and to see it like have to go down this this road is just depressing because I want I want Sega to succeed um, and I want to see like things to improve but I don't know how likely that is like I again they say how they're gonna spend more time and money into giving the games more development time and again that's that's a I, I believe it when I see it kind of situation because again they they've said this before and look what happened with forces um, so I, I don't know how much I trust them yet um, but needless to say all eyes are gonna well not all eyes but like a lot of people are gonna be looking at them when they announce the next game and the fact that the announcement has been delayed for so long just has us in a frenzy even more because we want to know what the stupid thing is already like we it's so like i don't know man i, I don't want to sound like i'm being uh like I, I like i we i need this now because if they if they stay true to their word and they actually use the time uh, well to make the game that we're gonna get better then sure like take more time um, at the same time though give us something like I, I'm not even I'm not saying hurry up and release the game like take however long you need for it to be great just give us like something to latch on for the time being like give us like a teaser trailer or something to look forward to uh, something like a side thing um another animation would be cool uh i, I know there's like talks for or not talks but i know they've said something about making a new tv series or something like uh, i i remember hear 
I didn't want, didn't want to do that. I wanted to do shield. Um, like I don't know if any of that is official, but I have like heard about like they wanted to they want to do another TV show or whatever. So that would be cool. Um, and in general, just get better at marketing for this franchise. Um, like they barely ever said like said anything about Team Sonic Racing. Um, and they kind of just <laughs> left the game out to burn and die. Um, and again, the games, with, with the budget su uh, Sumo was given, I thought um, T uh, TSR was actually f pretty good. Um, I don't think it's, like... Actually, no, I, I don't... I don't know, it's weird, because the game does a lot right. It's just the fact that, like, it had so little... Uh, courses uh, in the game, and you, you can just feel how. What is that? I, I, I think I did this wrong. Um, I can't actually get up here like this, can I? Yeah, no. I need I need to put the block down there. Um, but yeah, you can just feel that there's like no. Well, not no, but there, there's like barely any budget. Um, and. The fact that, I don't know, the fact that there are so many little stages is just such a shame, especially after the All-Stars Racing series, uh, where there's like a ton of different courses, the, um, wh what is it, the adventure mode, or like the mission, whatever you want to call it, had a bunch of various challenges, um, which, to be fair, T TSR does that too, but again, the lack of variety in courses just becomes more and more prevalent as you play through the game and you constantly just see repeats of playing the same stages over and over and it's just like this has the potential to be like a fantastic racer and it has like the ingredients of one but it just doesn't have the content like again I just want this series to be um to have like the same amount of money and uh, quality as like Mario again or whatever, um, or even stuff like Persona because uh, what is it? I know how Sega on what they used to be obviously, but they they can still manage to get like other series um, like a good budget. So I don't really like, well, obviously there's a bit. Um, it's a bit messy in Persona's case because that's Atlas as well, but um, even still, like something like Yakuza and whatnot, like just other Sega franchises in general, like even from what I've seen, uh, the new Sakura Wars game, like the from what I've seen, that ha that game seems to um, have a lot of effort put into it, um, and it seems to be fairly heavily regarded from what I can understand, um, and I'm just like, if you can do that with these other franchises, Sega, why don't you try it again with Sonic? Like, the series, like, these games, like, sell well, for the most part, um, like, and I feel like the fact that they're, uh, what is it, the fact that they're lower in, um, the basically budget nowadays probably it hurts the sales and makes people not want to try to uh, get the games as much um, is, a, is a thing. I don't even know where I'm going with this statement but the point is um, I just want Sonic to have a budget along the lines of like Unleashed again or not when, if it can't do that much because this game you, you can tell there was a pretty high budget with this, uh, but if we can at least get around, like, get back to this, um, kind of level or whatever, um, like, get, like, slowly, uh, like, gradually, um, uh, make our way back to, towards it, then I'd be fine with that, um, again, I just want there to be more love and care points of this franchise, and I... Time will tell what happens, but I don't know if I trust Sega anymore, like, I, I, I don't know.
I don't like being down in the dumps, but I've been burned too many times. And obviously, I'm gonna follow this series pretty much like till the day I die, probably, um, or the day the series dies. But man, <laughs> I I can't help but just it just hurts sometimes because it feels like. It feels like this series could be doing a lot better, and I know it can do a lot better, but they just- it just isn't. <laughs> and it just sucks to, f to know that. Ugh. <sighs>